Welcome to a world where even the most noble intentions can be shrouded in controversy. Today, we delve into the tumultuous tale of the Ayuda Fund, a whopping 26.7 billion pesos financial assistance program. This seemingly benevolent initiative has found itself at the center of a political maelstorm, raising more questions than it answers. In a recent public hearing on the People's Initiative, senators voiced their concerns about the Ayuda Kita Sakapos, or AKAP. This program, nestled under the wing of the Department of Social Welfare and Development, was met with surprise by Senator Emi Marcos, who questioned its existence and its inclusion in the National Expenditure Program. DSWD Undersecretary Fatima Alaya Dimapura responded, stating that AKAP is not an exclusive program for Congress and intriguingly does not have guidelines or target beneficiaries. Adding to the confusion, Budget and Management Secretary Amina Pangandaman clarified that AKAP is a cash subsidy program for those affected by inflation. However, it does not have an implementing rules and regulations, or IRR, yet. The plot thickens with the People's Initiative for Modernization and Reform Action, or PERMA, facing scrutiny. It was revealed that the organization has been non-existent for a cool 20 years, according to records from the Securities and Exchange Commission. In the midst of this controversy, senators are also discussing the possibility of holding public hearings on constitutional amendments outside Metro Manila. A coalition named Coalición Laban Sachacha has formed to oppose any forms of charter change. Various cause-oriented groups are planning a nationwide campaign against efforts to amend the Constitution through a People's Initiative. The National Economic and Development Authority, or NIDA, expressed the need to amend the Constitution's restrictive economic provisions to enhance the country's resilience to future shocks and promote economic growth. To recap, the Ayuda Fund, a 26.7 billion pesos financial assistance program, is under scrutiny due to a lack of clarity regarding its purpose, guidelines and beneficiaries. The People's Initiative for Modernization and Reform Action faces questions about its existence, while nationwide campaigns and coalitions are forming to oppose efforts to amend the Constitution. As the controversy continues to unfold, one thing is clear. The world of politics is never as straightforward as it seems. Stay tuned for more updates as we continue to unravel the intricacies of this political saga.